Well, here we are. I know you guys have been waiting with bated breath to see this, a closer look, and it's with great pleasure that I introduce you to the Euricom exclusive 780 watt AC adapter, an industry first, and man is it ever a beauty. As you can see, the output cable is secured to the front. That's got a four pin uh, DIN output. This fits uh, Clevo and MSI laptops right now with plans to make additional cables available later. It's got active cooling to keep those guts nice and cool. It's a very well-made product. I'll uh, dive into some of the specs in the review at Notebook Review Forums. If you want to click the link that's in the description on this video, you can see all the details on that. But let's get ready to dive into a hands-on look at a few things with this awesome monster AC adapter. Are you ready? Let's go. It's okay. On this table I've got a bunch of crap as you can see. Um, it's all here for a purpose. Um, everything you see here we're going to look at a little bit. We've got the P870DM3. It's a 17 inch monster book. We've got a P750ZM Clevo and the, of course the Eurocom Tornado F5. Amazing machines, all three of them. So this one here has 770K and 1080 SLI. It's a real beast. Two GTX 1080. Um, this older machine here has a 4790K CPU and a modded uh, GTX 980M card. And then, of course, the Eurocom Tornado F5 Extreme Edition has a 770K CPU and a GTX 1080. So over here, the real reason we're looking at this is my pre-production unit. You'll see that it looks a little bit different than the photos that are shown in the review and at the beginning of this video. The front cable's hardwired, but uh, most most respects it's the same. has a nice Eurocom logo on the front, a nice ventilation with active cooling in back and a power switch. Also has a nice LCD panel in front. So um, this is a very high quality product. It's way better than using two AC adapters. And I'll show you why as we go along here. So, great product. Really excited to show this to you guys. So, um, if you're used to having a big monster book, you're used to t having dual 330 watt AC adapters and then this adapter to fit both of them into one, but this is so much better. Now, you only need one of these 330 watts for a single GPU notebook like these two that are right here, but you're going to want one of these for every notebook. Here's, I'll show you why. So as we look at this 330 watt brick, we can see that it's just over two, um, about two and a half pounds, a little bit less than two and a half pounds. But let's weigh this one. We'll put it on the scale. And with the cable attached, we can see that it's just just a hair over three pounds. So less than a pound difference between these two AC adapters. But the 780 watt has more than twice the capacity. As we compare the size of them, it's about an inch and a half longer. So very minimal difference there. As we compare the width of them, so we've got uh, less than a half an inch difference in width. And as we set them side by side, it's a little bit thicker. The old 330 is a little bit thicker. So, yeah, it's way better. So you can get rid of this dual adapter set up for good. Uh, even though it's awesome, it's dated. And you can move over to one of these bad boys right here. That uh, LCD panel on the front is really sweet. It gives you a readout. And let's look at these cables. This, I hope whenever they release the final version, um, we can... Uh, have a long cable like this because it's really awesome. I've always found the original Clevo 330 watt adapters cables are way too short. But here we see it's what uh, 20 about 26 inches longer than the original Clevo AC adapter cable. So yeah, that's pretty sweet. Uh, a little over two feet longer. So let's look at the power output. Right now I have the P870DM3 set with SLI disabled. It's hitting her idling a little bit over 70 watts output. And let's run a Firestrike 
benchmark real quick and uh, see what kind of output we have on that screen. I'm going to set a GPU overclock for like 200 on core and 550 on memory. I've got the CPU running at 5 gigahertz right now. Set the fans on max with FN plus 1. Get those bad boys howling away. And uh, let's launch 3D Mark Firestrike. Now this AC adapter has active cooling. It's very rare I ever hear the fans on it. I'm in a very quiet room with nothing else going on. Once in a while I hear them, hear them come on. It's a very faint sound. Um, of course, with the P870 DM3, which is also the Eurocom Sky X9E2, or the Evoc P870 DM3, which I purchased from HID Evolution, um, that thing is wicked. Um, fans on it are amazing. Some people think they're too loud. I actually like them. It's not to the point of being obno obnoxious, but it depends on who you ask. If you ask my wife, she thinks it is, but I think it's totally awesome. So, test one completed there. We saw about 335 watts or so coming out of that. Let's uh, get a closer look here as it runs test two. Not quite as much power draw, but as you can see, we're about 300 bouncing between 300 and 315 watts. So let's uh, go ahead and enable SLI real quick. We'll get both GPUs going here. So let's go ahead and launch Firestrike and see what we can see there. So we can see the power instantly jumps up at about 560 watts, a little bit over 560 watts power draw at peak. Um, it looks like it's averaging about 530 watts power draw with some fluctuation. So it looks like we're getting an accurate readout on that. But how do we know? Well, okay, we're just a second. I'll uh, move into my office and we can check that. So test two, a little bit over 500 watts. We expect test two to be a little bit less power draw than test one. So, all right. As you can see, it works pretty sweet. So I moved into my office here and I've got this uh, 780 watt brick sitting next to my uh, cyber power um, PSU. It's 1500 watt PSU. You can see there's a little bit of difference between the output on the two screens. Uh, it shows a little a little variance there. Bear in mind that the AC adapter is measuring the output that goes into the laptop and the um, um, PSU or the uh, uh, UPS unit is measuring what power it's outputting. So I've got the P870 DM3 over here, and we're going to run that same fire strike test with it sitting next to the the uh, cyber power UPS and compare what's on the screen. Now you'll notice when you buy one of these things, what I know you all want one, you're going to want one, is that after you've unplugged it, it retains a little bit of power. It'll continue to dis to display some uh, power output on the screen because it holds some juice, which we expect. So, get this test launch here. So, kudos to Eurocom. I mean, I'm sure all of you are just excited about this as I am. Don't have to fumble around with those dual 330 watt bricks anymore. It's convenient if you're a traveler or if you have it sitting on your desk at home. 
either way, you've got less clutter, less weight, and uh, who who doesn't hate wires? So that's still go plugging along there. So it starts test two. You can see the power jump up there. Now I do not have anything connected to this um, UPS unit except for my U3 cooler that has three 120 millimeter desktop chassis fans on it. So that could account for a few watts with those three fans running full blast underneath the laptop. But it's overall it's really close when you consider that you're measuring the output of each device independently. I would expect to have some variance. It's certainly close enough where I think it's very safe to consider that it's accurate. I'm impressed overall. So uh, this is an impressive product. As you can see, mine has the hard hardwired cable in the front. It does not have the removable cable, which is a nice feature. You guys can expect to see in the production unit that's going to have that. So this is the physics test. It's pulling around 275 watts or so, 280 watts, and that's with the CPU at 5 gigahertz during the physics test. So, so it's pretty sweet, huh? So as this test wind down, winds down, um, look in the link in the description of this video, and you'll find. Uh, my thread over at notebook review forums where you can see all the details on the specs some uh, nice professional quality photographs of this ac adapter uh, as well as a link that you can click on to order it from Eurocom. so we're running the com fin just finished up the combined test there And it's done. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to click out, click the link in the thread and check out my review and notebook review forums. Have a great day.